Okay, how are we doing? Okay, great. Thank you for Jennifer, Paul. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, great. And what a great group we have. Awesome. Okay, great. And now you're probably seeing me. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your patience with that, everybody. I am so glad that we are all here today. We are going to go ahead and uh, dive right in. Uh, it's a few moments after two o'clock, so we will jump in. Quick thing, we are doing our peer-to-peer -peer fundraising webinar because you all have responded to different surveys and things throughout other webinars, and you all have shared with us that peer-to-peer -peer is important to you. So just kind of a big shout out. Thank you for everybody who lets us know what you're thinking. This is here uh, because you all have requested it. So along those lines, my name is Ashley Kefalitis. I am the uh, Community Development Specialist here at Mighty Cause. Uh, I'm excited to join you all today. I've gotten to do a lot with peer-to-peer -peer fundraising in the past, so I think we're going to have a good time. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do at the very end is have an opportunity for questions. So if you want to, you can add your questions into the chat. And I would say try to um, kind of hang on towards the end because we might answer your question throughout the webinar. Uh, but if not, by all means, go ahead and add that question to the, um, to the chat. So for today's agenda, we're going to be going over what is peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, how to build a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaign. We're going to look at recruiting peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. We're going to go over some things to note or things to remember. And then, like I said, we'll have that time for questions. So what is peer-to-peer -peer fundraising? Peer-to-peer -peer fundraising at the root is the idea of existing nonprofit supporters. Okay, so I think, am I seeing that you're only, I'm so sorry to pause for a second. Um, Martha, I see you're only seeing the logo. Can somebody just let me know, are we, are we viewing any slides anymore? Okay, great, thanks Molly. Just we're gonna jump right back in. I'm so sorry for that. So with, Peer-to-peer -peer fundraising at the root of it. Thank you so much for everybody. You, this is an awesome group. Uh, so with our peer-to-peer, -peer, the goal is for existing nonprofit supporters to be reaching out to their peers and asking them to support your nonprofit through donations. So although an organization uh, might be creating a peer-to-peer -peer campaign, such as a walkathon, let's say, the organization is not directly asking the community for donations. It's the supporters of the nonprofit that are doing that ask. So at the root, that's why we call it that peer to peer. It's the peer who is asking their peers to support you. They're reaching out through their social network, they're sending emails, and they're even doing that personal uh, ask for donations. And chances are, you've participated in peer-to-peer -peer fundraising and you didn't even know. So a couple of popular examples are charity walks and marathons, the ever popular birthday fundraiser, campaign add-ons. We have giving events, think Giving Tuesday, and also things like board challenges. The benefits of peer-to-peer -peer fundraising are many and they certainly make a lasting impact. Here's a few, donor acquisition. Before anyone becomes a donor to your organization, they must first know that you exist and they have to trust your work. So think about it. How better to learn about who you are than from a friend or a family member who shares their story about your organization? And people are more likely to donate to a nonprofit that's endorsed by someone they know. We also have the idea of boots on the ground. So peer-to-peer -peer fundraising takes your nonprofit to people who would not normally have access to you. So in turn, you gain awareness and you gain donations because the more people who are talking about you, the faster and further word about your work is gonna spread. And then that in turn means more donations. And peer-to-peer -peer fundraising also deepens relationships with existing donors. 
So many donors are willing to do more than just donate. You just need to invite them to partner with you at this new level. So how peer-to-peer -peer works. You're the organization. If two of your supporters host a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser and each receives three donations from someone who's never donated to you before, you as the organization now have a total of eight supporters, which in turn is increasing your donation flow. So what is it about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising that will draw your supporters to get on board? For one, it's an opportunity for your donors to serve you. So as we mentioned before, most donors are willing and wanting to do more than only donate towards your cause. So hosting a peer-to-peer -peer campaign is an easy way for them to serve. And whether you are asking or simply just providing the option for supporters to host a peer-to-peer -peer campaign, this is what we call a non-monetary ask. So such opportunities keep your donors engaged. It allows them to feel like a bigger part of your success, especially if their personal charity budget has already been spent. And another big part of peer-to-peer -peer fundraising is your supporters are sharing their stories and your organization has left an impact on your supporters. That's why they're supporting you. It's because you matter and you matter to them. So hosting a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser is now their opportunity to share how your organization has impacted their life. And what we're gonna go over is our Mighty Cause peer-to-peer -peer pages. And as we get ready to do that, it's helpful to admit that verbiage around peer-to-peer -peer fundraising can get a little crossed at times. So I'm gonna go over a few of the terms we use here at Mighty Cause to help make things just a little bit more clear as we walk through building that peer-to-peer -peer campaign. So on the Mighty Cause platform, a campaign page is any of the three peer-to-peer -peer fundraising types. For example, a fundraiser and an event are both referenced as campaigns. A fundraiser is an individual fundraising campaign webpage that stands alone or is linked to a team or an event. But a fundraiser is also a person. So this is the single supporter who created an individual fundraising campaign webpage. So they, they both get used, but they mean to, or the word fundraiser gets used for both meanings. A team member is a fundraiser who created an individual fundraising page that is linked to a particular team. And a supporter is how we reference anyone who supports your organization. It's meant to be a broad term. So supporters can be donors, fundraisers, board members, anyone who does anything to support your organization. So now that we have an understanding of peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, let's take a look at how to build that peer-to-peer -peer campaign. Starting your campaign page takes just a few easy steps. Once you log in and you're on your organization's profile page, click the fundraise button and then select other fundraising solutions from the pop-up. The fundraising solutions page provides a rundown of the campaign types. So you'll scroll down on the page to select the campaign you wish to start, and then you'll follow the prompts from there. We have three types of peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaigns on the Mighty Cause platform. Fundraisers are the most recognizable type of peer-to-peer -peer campaign. A fundraiser page is created by one of your supporters, and then he or she promotes the page to friends and family in order to meet the goal he or she set. And then that fundraiser page is linked to your profiles, or excuse me, to your nonprofit's profile page. And that donor information becomes yours. So that's how you're growing your donor base. Teams are comprised of multiple fundraisers. So the team page has an overall goal and a leaderboard of those fundraisers. And each fundraiser page is linked to that team page. So when a fundraiser receives a donation, the goal bar on the team page reflects that new donation. And teams are an awesome way to harness that friendly competition. Now we have events. Events consist of multiple teams and fundraisers. So typically an organization hosts an event, such as a walkathon, and then teams join the event they create team pages and recruit team members to host individual fundraiser pages. However, events can be anything that you want them to be. 
So maybe you only want individual fundraisers or you want a blend of teams and fundraisers. It's totally up to you, whatever works best for your organization's goal. And regardless of the campaign type, all you need for managing your campaign page can be found on the page dashboard. So the page editor, that guides you through customizing your page. If you're hosting a team or an event, you can keep track of your campaigns and your participants, and every page has its own downloadable donation reporting. The settings tab on the dashboard, that hosts an array of options, such as customizing your URL, updating your social sharing content, and managing your page metrics. So our goal is for you to have everything that you need to operate your page, everything that your team members need to operate their pages. And there's a few key differences between a team and event, a team and an event page and those fundraiser pages. So team and event pages both have leaderboards. They'll have their respective join this team or join this event button. They have campaign and participants tabs, and then they have the fundraiser templates. The individual fundraiser pages don't need these features because a fundraiser page is representing a single donor and not additional team or event members. So this page can be part of a larger campaign or it can stand alone, which is what makes the fundraiser page perfect for that crowdfunding. But we're gonna zero in on the features for the team and event pages first, and then we'll focus on the individual fundraiser pages in just a moment. The fundraiser template. So if you have supporters that just are hesitant because they, they're daunted at the idea of creating a fundraiser page, or they think that they don't have time, or just technology is not their thing, we totally have you covered. The fundraiser template allows you to fill in the important information that will show on the fundraiser pages. So all your supporters need to do is join your campaign, publish the fundraiser page, and then send out the fundraiser URL to friends and family. It's as easy as one, two, three. And then that fundraiser template, or in that uh, fundraiser template are those settings, or I said that all backwards, in the fundraiser template for, start one more time. The settings tab hosts your fundraiser template. So that can be at the team level or the event level. But how do your supporters join your campaign? They're gonna head to your campaign page, so to your event page or to your team page, and they can join one of two ways. If your campaign page is open to anyone who would like to join, they're gonna click that join this event or join this team button. And then your donors will just follow the prompts like you did when you created your fundraiser page or your campaign mm -hmm. page. But if you would rather have more control over who becomes a team member or an event member, you can make your campaign an invite only campaign. So Lee just asked about presentation mode. Thank you for reaching out. Unfortunately, I'm not able to make that change. I do apologize. And I am very sorry that that logo is taking up half of the screen. The good news is that the slides are gonna be sent and I, which um, Bianca had a quick question about that too. And so did Barbara, the presentation and those slides are gonna be emailed to you. So I apologize that I'm not able to make that change but you will have the slide deck emailed to you uh, within the next couple of days. Awesome. Okay, thank you for reaching out though, Lee. I appreciate it. So real quick, getting back to joining our campaign, if you want it to be a little more controlled who joins the campaign, you can move your campaign into an invite only status. And what that means is an administrator of the team or the event will invite supporters through your participants tab. So your supporters, they're gonna receive an email and that's gonna have a link with instructions to create, creating their own page. And once the members create their own page and they publish their page, then they're gonna appear in that campaign leaderboard. The leaderboards on the team and the event pages, they function the same. 
So each participating campaign is going to be listed. So all of the fundraisers within a team will be listed. All of the teams will be listed in that event uh, leaderboard. So if someone selects a campaign page from a leaderboard, they're going to be taken directly to that page so that they can make their donation. And the goal of the leaderboard is to broadcast the success of your members, but also to encourage everyone toward that common goal. So you have control of how your members are listed. You can rank everyone by dollars raised or number of donors or by name. So it really just depends on what you wanna foster. Do you wanna have a little bit of friendly competition or are you just hoping to have everybody listed? The donors, or excuse me, the donation report, super essential, but so are the campaign and participants tabs. Within your campaigns tab, you can view the stage and success of each campaign. And within your participants tab, you can zero in on individual supporters instead of the campaign. And you can contact your supporters directly through either tab. You can also download reports within both tabs for more information. And this becomes a great tool when you're looking for that donor, or excuse me, that supporter engagement, because you want to make sure that you're thanking your teams and your event members, and you want to be checking in to see if they have questions, and you want to compliment them on their success. And all of that can be done through your campaign and supporters tabs. The team and event pages are awesome for peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, as we've just seen and they bring your community together for that single goal. But now let's take a look at those individual fundraiser pages. The fundraiser page is most often the backbone of team and event peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. And this is because the fundraiser page is typically that one person directly contacting friends and family and asking for donations. So remember what we said at the beginning, where people are more likely to donate to an organization endorsed by somebody that they know. So that's what's happening with our peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser pages. So each page has a goal bar that can reflect a dollar amount or number of donors. Each page has a story section that can be long or short, use photos or videos, and it can be edited at any time. And the fundraiser pages also have a donate button with social sharing options just below. And these make it easy for fundraisers and donors to share the fundraiser on social media, through email. You can even embed the fundraiser into another website. So it's really getting that fundraiser out to the community and to the network of that fundraiser. And the fundraiser page is also that prime example of a standalone peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So think of a birthday fundraiser or memorial fundraiser. It doesn't have to be connected to a team or an event. To create a fundraiser page that's not linked to a team or an event, all you need to do is click the fundraise button on your organization profile page. So your supporter just needs the link to your profile page. They click fundraise, they set, or excuse me, they select get started and then build your fundraiser. So it's three clicks and they are ready to go for customization. And just like you can create a fundraiser template within your team or your event, you can create the same thing on your organization profile page for the standalone fundraisers. So it's the same idea. The easier it is to create the fundraiser, the more likely your supporters are to participate. Donation reports. These are huge. So fundraising is all about raising funds, right? Each campaign page has a downloadable donations report, and all the donations can also be found in your profile page donation report. You can filter by campaign, you can search by donor, or within a particular time frame. And the donations report will show you all the donations that are made to your page and any of your page members. So for example, if you have a team and you're participating in an event, you as the team owner, you'll be able to see the donations made to your team and the fundraisers underneath your team umbrella, but you won't be able to see the donations that have been made to another team or any of the fundraisers within the event that are not under your team. So the donations report allows you also to add offline donations and a recent donor receipt, which is super helpful. 
So how do you recruit these peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers? Nonprofits recruit volunteers for all kinds of things. So fundraising is no different. As you prepare your campaigns, take a moment to consider which of your supporters you can approach about fundraising. So you can create a campaign focused on a particular group of supporters, such as a board member challenge, or for example, you can select a theme for your campaign and then zero in on a group of supporters that goes hand in hand with that theme. The main goal is considering who you can reach out to and then asking. That direct request to your supporters to participate makes a huge difference. No matter who you're asking, you want to make it easy for the fundraiser. And I know we've mentioned this multiple times. It's because it's so important. The easier that it is for the fundraiser, the more participation you'll see again and again, because you want those returning supporters. So not only are you going to promote peer-to-peer -peer fundraising on your website, you're going to provide a link to your profile page with instructions that emphasize how easy it is to do this. And you're going to do more than just creating that fundraiser template. You can provide timeline tips. You can create templates for emails and social media posts. You can offer incentives. So for example, the fundraiser with the most new donors or the most dollars raised wins a free t-shirt. So there's a lot of ways that you can make this exciting and engaging for your supporters. And you also want to let your supporters know that their story is impactful and can further the work of your cause. And you never want to underestimate the power of passion. Peer-to-peer -peer fundraising isn't just about gaining new donors. It's also about giving your supporters a reason to find their voice and celebrate the goodness that your cause has brought to their life. Your supporters already have their why, and now peer-to-peer -peer fundraising is what gives them their how. So a few things to note. Just as you ask your supporters for donations, you're going to be asking your supporters to fundraise. There's nothing, nothing wrong with asking those who believe in your cause to share that sentiment with their friends and family. Many of your supporters either don't know that they can fundraise or just aren't sure where to start. So go ahead and ask them. Go ahead and give them those first steps. Second, you're going to want to set reasonable goals. So even in fundraising, your goals don't have to be tied to a dollar. So if you're new to peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, consider a goal such as five new peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers in five months. And this could be a single birthday fundraiser every month. Or let's say that you're already hosting an annual event consider adding peer-to-peer -peer fundraising with the goal of bringing in three new donors per campaign. So it's really all based on the needs of your nonprofit and reasonable goals. And setting a goal is what helps you gauge your progress. So tracking your progress helps you see what works best, any improvements that can be made, and also any goals that you've hit that you can make even bigger for the future. And finally, as with all fundraising, follow-up is the key. So we have all kinds of reporting to help you with this. You want to be sure that you're connecting with your new donors and you're starting to build that relationship right away. But just as important is thanking and celebrating your fundraisers. So even if they didn't raise a ton of money, they still created a page on your behalf. So make sure you recognize them for that. People are more likely to host another fundraiser in your name if they truly feel it made a difference to your organization. So on that note, we are gonna open it up to some questions. I have a question from Tim Turner. Uh, anyone else, if you had a question earlier on, if you don't mind, go ahead and repost that if you can, and we'll make through as much as we, as we can. And, and of course, again, the slides are gonna be emailed to everyone as well as a recording of this webinar. Uh, so Tim asked if the social, social feature is available for the team and events. It is. So that social sharing, the Twitter button and the Facebook button embedding into a website, the social sharing is available for all three of the campaign pages. The only thing is embedding into another website. The Option to do that is all three of the campaign pages. 
but the fundraiser page has the unique opportunity to embed an actual donation widget into a website. And so we have another question from Barbara. You can create the page for the supporter. So Barbara asked if we can create the page for the supporter instead of the supporter doing it on their own. You absolutely can. What we do is we have the option, you create the page as, the, as Barbara, Barbara would create the page, and then you can put it into the name of that supporter by entering their email address, and that'll happen in the supporters tab. But we can absolutely do that. A lot of PTAs, uh, school PTAs, will do that. They'll create a page for each teacher, and then either the creator of the event is just in control of everything, or they hand that over to the teacher. So you can absolutely do that. So Tara asked about pricing. So we have a couple of different tiers for pricing. We have our essentials, which comes to $59 a month paid annually. And we also have an advanced subscription, which comes to only $99 a month paid annually. And then we have our, uh, when it comes to donation fees, we have our pricing guarantee for the donation fees. We give the option for donors to cover the fees. If a donor chooses to cover the fees, then you as the organization pay nothing. If a donor chooses not to cover the fees, then at most organizations pay a 2.2% plus 29 cents. And we do that in aggregate per disbursement, which is a great question. And we also have more information for that at mightycause.com slash pricing. Tara, you're happy, you're welcome to look there. And also for all of these questions, more information, feel free to reach out to our customer support and we can get you even more detail there. So, Zan, so Anne just had a quick uh, thing she wanted to make sure she's understanding correctly. If you go through the uh, Mighty Cause website, you can put all of these forms in place. Yes. So all of the forms when it comes to the, and um, actually, let me make sure that I'm understanding you correctly. So the forms that are the uh, fundraiser template, the, uh, event page, the team page, the fundraiser page, all of those are, everything you've seen can be found through the website. I hope that answered your question. I'm not sure if it did, but go ahead and post again and I'll follow up with you. So the upcoming, for those who are gonna be involved in A Community Thrives, yes, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising will be permitted for A Community Thrives, I would suggest definitely check out their rules uh, for their prizes and such. For things like offline donations, you'll wanna make sure that um, you check their specific rules, but peer-to-peer -peer fundraising is welcome for the A Community Thrives challenge. And it's also a, uh, a wonderful tool for that. Okay, Paul has a question. Let me just make sure I can read it and understand. So the fee structure, um, just similar to the, what I mentioned earlier. One second, let me make sure I read and fully understand the question. No, there's uh, absolutely no difference. So to us, a donor is a donor. So Paul asked if there's a different fee structure for donors who come through other supporters, uh, and there's there's not. So whether the donor comes through your main profile page or through a campaign page, a peer-to-peer, -peer, doesn't matter. Fees are all the same. Oh, Cynthia, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you enjoyed this webinar and we will be, we are so happy to have you on Mighty Cause and we're more than happy to help with any questions that you have along the way. Thank you so much. Okay, Tara, good. I'm glad we got you covered. And Barbara has a follow-up question. Just make sure I understand. Yes. So Barbara had asked about if she creates the pages for their supporters. So, and now she's asking if she creates a page for the supporter and then she adds that supporter's email address, they will need to have an account with Mighty Cause 
But once they have that account, because that's how they'll log in and access their page, they are able to make further customizations. So when you have your fundraiser template and whether someone creates the page on their own or you create it for them, as long as they have ownership of the page, they can go ahead and make some customizations. So they can add that their own, I don't want to call it a twist, but their own uh, pizzazz to their story. That if they wanted to add a picture or something like that, they can absolutely do that, but they will need that Mighty Cause account. And you are most welcome. Paul, I am so excited. You are more than welcome. And I'm excited for you to dive into Mighty Cause. Thank you. So for peer-to-peer -peer with uh, A Community Thrives also, uh, you'll wanna take a look. One of the things that uh, A Community Thrives offers is in essence that essentials package that Mighty Cause offers, they kind of provide that for you. So when you go into your profile page and you're looking at your dashboard, when it comes to the, um, I'm gonna call the features or the campaigns that are available to you, you actually will have the fundraiser pages, the teams and the events available to you. So there's not an additional fee if you're participating in a community threat. So just for that one challenge, that is something that they provide for you. So I, I hope that that helps answer that question, but great, great question. And Whitney, just a moment, let me go through. Okay, so going over downloading those reports, you are able to download, so, when you're when you're looking at your organization, when you're the looking at your organization profile page, instead of going to each team page and downloading or each fundraiser page and downloading, you're going to do that just right through your main organization profile page. So when you're looking at your profile page and on your dashboard, you can go to your reports. When you pull up your donations report, you can filter by a team or by a particular fundraiser. And then you can see those donations. You don't actually have to go to that fundraiser page or to that team page. And this also, when you're looking at just your donations report from your profile page, this lets you know, let's say if you had a full event, it gives you the full view of your event and then you can filter it down based on the different campaigns. Whitney, let me know if that, if that helped. So Sue asked about how Mighty Cause integrates with other CRMs. Whitney, great, I'm glad that that was helpful. So Sue, back to your question for the other CRMs. We integrate a couple of different ways. We have direct integrations with Salesforce. We also have a direct integration with MailChimp uh, all, uh, and a couple others with Slack, with Google Analytics. So with some, it's a direct integration. And then with others, we use Zapier. And that Zapier is free and they serve as the middleman. So for example, Constant Contact, instead of having a direct integration with Constant Contact, we go through Zapier. So they kind of just serve as that middleman. Those integrations, those are part of our advanced subscription. They are super helpful, especially, especially I should say, during a big event or something like a giving day, like a Giving Tuesday because it takes that any donor information that comes in through Mighty Cause, it gets just transferred right into those CRMs. I will be happy to go into that more with you, Sue. There's a couple of ways you can either request a demo if you'd like, or if you wanna send a quick email through customer support, I'll keep an eye out for your name and we can dive into that further. I'll be more than happy to do that with you. Great question. And I'll give just a couple of minutes if anybody else has a question. I am so glad for those of you who mentioned that this was a helpful webinar. I am so glad. We are getting ready also, we're gonna put out a blog post. So you'll have the webinar, like I said, the slides and the webinar, but then you'll also have that blog post to dive into. And we have a lot of different resources in our resource center. Everything is free. So make sure that you're taking a look there for different fundraising ideas all kinds of different things, especially as the year goes on and 
Oh, you're so welcome, Sarah. More than welcome. I'm glad it was helpful. As we start inching through the summer, keep in mind for Giving Tuesday, that's a great time to do some peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. And Bianca, yes. So the recording from today is going to be what's in that email as well. Absolutely. Yep. You'll have both. And also for past webinars, you can go into our resource center and find those there as well. Oh, good. Carolyn, I'm glad. If new information is all, can always be great and helpful. I'm so glad that this was good. This is wonderful. Awesome. Then what I think we're going to do, I think we're going to go ahead. We're going to call it a day for this webinar. I am so glad that this has been helpful. You all have been wonderful. So thank you again for your help today as we got our slides figured out. And real quick, so Gary King is asking. So the way that it would go, it wouldn't be that a fundraiser. Well, yes. When we go back to our verbiage, a fundraiser, a person fundraiser, they can build that individual fundraiser page on through your Mighty Cause link. Absolutely. So if that profile link, if you have that on your website, they can go to your website, click, oh, I want to build my peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser. They'll be taken to your profile, click the fundraise button, and then that'll take them through the three clicks to get them to their page. Yes, Kathy, definitely a lot to go through. And it'll be good also as you guys kind of go through and you re-listen again or look through any questions, by all means, reach out to customer support. We are absolutely here to help with that. Oh, Cynthia, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Katie, you have a great day. And Gary, you are more than welcome. Absolutely.